Are you guys ready? <laughs> Are you guys ready? We're gonna start over here, right? Like right, this thing right here, we're gonna start doing that, all right? Well, we're gonna like cook bismuth. <laughs> okay, so this, we're gonna start with this first because it takes a while, right? So this is bismuth, right? This is element 83, I think. Um, it's a really, really heavy metal. It's heavier than gold, right? Because I think gold is 79. Um, and you can make really cool things with it, right? For example, I don't know if you can see the rainbow shine that this kind of dog bowl has, but we'll, we'll, be, make, we'll be making geodes um, and like crystals. Uh, so we'll start this now because we have to heat this up uh, to 522 degrees Fahrenheit. 522 degrees Fahrenheit for metal is super low. Like to, to put it in perspective, like aluminum is like 2000. It's insane. Um, so we have to start a fire. Um, that's what that's for right over here. So let's, uh, let's start a fire in my backyard. <laughs> we got fire. <laughs> so why are we cooking bismuth? To make bismuth crystals, right? So we're making bismuth crystals, which are like the coolest metal crystals you've ever seen. If you've ever seen like metal crystals, they're actually like really neat. Um, and we have to start this now because it takes like a good hour or two for it to actually like melt. And then like we have to cool it very slowly so it actually gets into the crystal structure we want it to. So we'll keep that um, heating um, and we'll move on real quick. So I'm gonna start with something really cool called nitinol. It's right here. Um, I don't know if you can see that right there. So nitinol is nickel titanate. Uh, the nol, so nickel, N-I-T-I, -I, the nickel titanate. Um, and then the null part comes from the uh, laboratory that actually uh, discovered nitinol. What's really cool is that this is a memory uh, shaping alloy. So if it remembers what you, uh, it remembers where you bend it. And uh, for example, if you put it into a uh, paper clip, then what it can do is that um, you can, you can, all right. So I'll, I'll you know, it's, it's easier to show you guys just by doing, let me get some snip snips. Wow, it's really not breaking. Please break. <sighs> well, nickel titanate is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. So now I have the nickel titanol. So we're going to shape it really fast. Here, let me show you guys really fast. So here's, here's the nickel titanol. We're going to bend it all up, right? So we're just going to make it a huge hot mess. It's going to completely bend it. Right, you see that? And then we're gonna put it into water. And it just bends back. Isn't that cool? So the reason it does this is because um, the way, the, like it's a phase transformation sort of thing. Um, basically it has like a, um, a, a curve, like a hysteresis or hysteresis um, where it's like, um, it, tra it, cha it has like the, the phase transition like right at a certain point and it's really cool because like it, it forms defects like a, a deformation it's a, it's a twin boundary uh, uh, deformation with its grains but like it doesn't actually break bonds when it does it so it actually remembers when you uh, when you heat it back up I'll, I'll explain it more in a second but like guys this is this is really cool you can like you can do this in your own like this is something you can do yourselves uh, it's really cheap to get it's like ten dollars uh, and you can do a lot of really cool things like with nickel titanol um, you can uh, honestly just rebuild things that were broken before um, like it's used for like structural support it's used for biomedical applications what can be used for i mean structural support for example like if it start if something starts to bend right like if, if if you have like this bridge right and something starts to bend right like that in you can just heat it up and it goes back Right. So it's like, so there, there might be some like applications in like, you know, like, let's say you, you crumple your car, right? Let's, let's say you uh, get into like a fender bender. You can just heat up your car and it goes back to normal. How do you make it uh, stay a different shape? You have to, um, so right now it's, it's just straight line to make it stay a different shape. You have to form it under the heat. So if you want to, like it was, it was too hot before, but if I want to shape it, like I have to do it in, in the heat like this, right? So if I want to make it like a pseudo paper clip or something, like make it look like a paper clip. And I gotta like do it in the water and bend it in the water. So you see like I've moved it into like the semi paper clip sort of thing, right? And so if I put it back in the water, it doesn't, it doesn't move. It, it's just like, it's the same thing, you know? Um, so if we bend it now, like yet again, we bend it outside of the water um, into some weird shape and then put it back in 
It can only go back to that paperclip sort of form, if it can. It was close enough, guys. That's like that's like a paperclip, right? <laughs> it's the same thing as a paperclip. Cool. So you guys want to explode some things? This right here is 30 grams of pure sodium. Um, if you guys know what pure sodium is, um, it's highly, it's, um, let me say even more so, it's violently reactive with water. I've opened this somewhat and it's all covered in oil, right? So the, no water can get inside. We're gonna be very careful, okay? We're gonna actually be very careful um, and uh, do this. We're gonna put not all 30 grams, see if we can like snip up a little bit. We're gonna put it in water and see what happens, right? Is it oil protected from oxygen? Not, also, not only water. Yes, we don't want it to oxidize as well. Safety first, guys. Safety's cool, all right? Safety's cool. Well, wear, wear, wear your helmet, kids. So right here is sodium, pure sodium. Yeah, it's very, I don't know if you can see that right quick, like right there, it's very oily. Like it's, it's covered in oil. Yeah, they really don't want sodium to oxidize. For obvious reasons, there's water in air. Oh my God, it's melting. Guys, it's melting. Guys, it's melting. Holy shit, it's melting. Oh my God, guys, look, look, look. Oh my God, oh, 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 it's melting. <laughs> oh my God, wait, wait, wait. Okay, pause, pause everything, pause everything. All right, we're not doing sodium yet. That is bismuth soup. <laughs> that is bismuth soup. That's bismuth, that's molten bismuth right there. I don't know if you can see the rainbow colors. It's really cool. I gotta put it back in a sec though. And let the, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna leave it, like we're gonna leave the, uh, um, the, the bismuth um, melting like that. And then the fire's gonna die down itself and that's gonna treat as our small insulation period. So it's going to, we want it to um, cool under insulation. So it cools at a very, very slow rate so that the atoms arrange in a very nice sort of uniform area. So it gets into a cuboid formation. So that's what, that's what we're doing there. And once, once it starts to, uh, to melt down, then you can pick up the, um, the crystals out of the soup. Just literally just pick it up and slowly do it. All right, let's get back to sodium. <laughs> cool, awesome. All right, there's a little chunk right there. Little chunk, uh, we're gonna put the rest back in. So this right here, right now, is pure metal sodium. And here, right here, is water. Sodium reacts ex like extremely violently with water. I don't know, ex I haven't done this myself yet. Um, I will probably be, once I plop it in, I'll probably be running. Uh, let's do a smaller amount, which is really fun, fun fact, fun fact. Sodium is extremely um, light, so you can bend it, right? Sodium uh, metal, is very light. So you, I'm, look, I'm so strong, guys. Look, I'm so strong, I can bend metal. Let's start it with, you know what? Let's do the small flake that dropped off. You guys can't hear this, but it's sizzling. <laughs> All right, let's now. <laughs> Ooh. Science! <laughs> let, me, let me get a smaller chunk than that. We'll do it again. Ooh, um, let me check on bismuth real quick. Check. Back to bismuth over here. Uh, we gotta do this quick because it's about to start melting. I need to get rid of the slag. Um, so slag is basically oxidized bismuth and we do not want that. Oxidized bismuth is a, a very big no-no um, because we want bismuth to be, um, we want bismuth to be pure when we uh, melt it like this. Cool. So I'm gonna be taking this, the, the top off of the bismuth like this, scraping off the top of this metal, right? And because this is all oxidized stuff that we do not want. It's not gonna give us good, pretty crystals. Can you guys see that? Yeah, I'm gonna leave it here. And if you can see, right, the bismuth is still soupy, but it's gonna start hardening starting from the top. Once it starts hardening from the top, it's gonna go down layer, 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 and it's gonna start forming cubes. Um, I'll see if we can pick some out um, soon. Whew. Sodium again, smaller chunk this time. <laughs> or similar size chunk. Here we go. Woo. Science! <laughs>
Um, okay, so we have a couple other things to do. Um, let me check on the bismuth really quick, because uh, that's our long-term project. And then we will do elephant's toothpaste, probably next. Okay, bismuth is going well, cooling down, which is nice, in a nice, slow fashion. So we might get some really nice crystals out of it. I want to do some fun stuff first. <laughs> Before we do elephant's toothpaste, um, which takes some effort, let's do something that doesn't take effort. I don't know if you guys see this. These are Mentos. And uh, I got some Diet Coke right here, <laughs> right? So we'll do that. So let's, we're, we're gonna do some fun exp uh, um, experiments because uh, you're like, oh, hey, you know, you have one Diet Coke bottle. What are you gonna do? You're gonna pour it in here, right? Ha, I have two bottles. <laughs> oh, so we're gonna, we're gonna explode one and then we're gonna, put, we're gonna do this, so. Okay, so we're gonna put this in here. All right, let's not make it carbonate. Let's do it like the classy people do it. Here we go. Classy, classy Diet Coke. Sorry, I didn't pour it with my pinky out. Let me just like, let me just, you know. How many, how many Mentos should we put in, guys? What do you guys think? I wanna see some numbers. Three? I see three. I see a lot of threes. Three or four? Okay, we'll put four in. Actually, let's do three. Let's do three to start with. Here we go. Three Mentos in an open container of Diet Coke. That was a close one, guys. Whoo! That was close. I can't believe. Oh my God. Wow. That almost exploded. No way. Yeah, you see the Mentos right there? All right, that was a dud. Let's do, let's do like two, because I know I can like do this, you know? I was about to hit you guys. <laughs> you guys want to do it again? <laughs> you guys want to do it again? We have another, like, I have another. <laughs> got to do it really fast because this, oh, oh, we got a crystal, guys. We got a crystal. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a crystal, right? I don't know if you guys can see that, right? Well, when I move it, right, there's this one part that doesn't move with the rest of them. Ah, uh, that one didn't then do so well, but we'll take it. It's it's all right. It's all right. Take a look at some more. All right, we'll wait a little bit longer, and then we might pour out the rest. All right. A little chip. It's going to turn. You can see it turning color. I think. I don't feel like it's not focusing well, but like I can actually see it turning color as it as it's going right now. It's about to be a little bit of a yellow blue. All right. Oh oh oh. There's another one forming right here. Do you guys see it? There's another one forming right here. It's cooling. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, you know what? I, th I think I know the problem here. It's cooling too fast. I think it's cooling too fast. That's why we're not getting some good crystals. Uh, we can look at the uh, the crystals we have right now. Yeah. So you see this right here? These are the crystals that we just got. They're not the best ones, right? You can see like you can see the cuboid structure, sort of, but they're really not great because the cubes aren't like like inherently there. They're not giant, you know. Want to get some good ones? It's still there. That ch that giant chunk is still there. So I want to make sure it doesn't get attached to the bottom uh, part of the plate. Should we pull it out now, or should we wait a little bit longer? What do you guys think? I'll leave it up to you guys. Oh, I gotta pull it out now. Actually, that was a bad. Yeah, I gotta do it. There's, I like if I don't pull it out now, it's gonna fuse. Please be nice. Please be good. It's okay. Let's do some metallurgy. Let's do some forging right now while we have while we can. Okay. I want to pour this out. Oh, okay. That works. That works. I'll take it. I'll take it. You guys will see it in a second. All right. First off, that's blue. That's blue right there. And this is purple, right? You see, it, it, there's a dependence on how well, how fast it cools. 
for how, how uh, the color turns up and it oxidizes like this, right? You can see it changing as it's going right now. Like straight up, you can just see it changing color. Right now it's a, it's a light blue. It's because the, the way the, um, oxygen attacks, uh, attaches to the bismuth, okay, bismuth oxide, right? Um, it changes color the, the more uh, or less oxygen uh, comes onto the surface, which then reflects, like, reflects light differently. Let me show you guys something really cool too, is, uh, is this. Can you see inside right there? That's, uh, that's a pretty large cube. Um, here's the uh, rainbowed pride medal. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just full rainbow now. Uh, you got some red in the middle, some pink on the sides. Um, you got a little bit of yellow, um, a little bit of green on the, the edges, and then some blue. What's really interesting is that this part right here um, is, is covered with some other uh, hydrocarbons, right? Which is, is slag, right? So you get the, the, the solid uh, silver. The thing you can see right here is that it's all pure bismuth now reacted with the oxygen in the air, which makes it colored. So you can actually see a nice uh, stark contrast. And because this part actually cooled slower than like the inside right here cooled slower than all the others, um, it was able to form uh, a cube in a correct crystal structure because the atoms were able to arrange in the preferred state. Um, I got some examples of some previous, some previous uh, batches of uh, bismuth that were actually really good. This is my favorite one personally, right here, right? As you can see, it has every single color of the rainbow on it. I showed this a little bit on stream, um, but yeah, you can get stuff like this. Another one right here uh, really exemplifies the cube that you can get from the structure, right there. So, this is uh, bismuth crystals. Let's do some elephant's toothpaste. And uh, yeah, all right, so let me get some warm water. Um, we'll need that for, to make the yeast rise for about five minutes or so. Essentially, we're gonna be dealing with some hydrogen peroxide here. Um, basically, you know, stuff that you uh, put on a wound to disinfect it and all that, hydrogen peroxide. Um, we're gonna have some soap, so I just got some Dawn. What's cool about hydrogen peroxide is that it actually decays, decays is probably the wrong word, but it, it, it reacts and uh, wants to disassociate itself. So what's really cool is that if you just leave hydrogen peroxide out, just like, in a field somewhere, then it will just transfer and be water. So hydrogen peroxide reacts with itself, it's just nothing, right? It just decomposes into um, H2O and hydrogen gas. So if you put in soap, right, like this Dawn soap, what happens is that it actually keeps in all the hydrogen gas and the um, H, uh, H2O, right? So then when, uh, when it tries to escape, then it'll actually be kept in by that soap because the soap will bind to it. Um, and this, this will happen over a course of a, a long time, right? Um, but you can do a catalyst, right? Such as potassium iodide, which I currently don't have, um, but you can also just do it with regular yeast. So I have warm water right here. We're gonna put yeast. Back of the yeast here. So we have hydrogen peroxide right here, and we have yeast, which is rising. We're gonna wait for like two to three minutes after this. And basically the yeast is a catalyst for the H2O2. So the H2O2, it transfers to um, water and hydrogen gas, and uh, the catalyst, yeast, will make it happen a lot, lot faster, like basically instantaneously. And so we're gonna pour soap in. So rather than just like fizzle out, it's gonna be, it's gonna keep here, and we're gonna do this, right? So I need to put about, half as much soap as there is hydrogen peroxide. And then we gotta mix it together. <laughs> it's already kind of happening with the uh, yeast left, left to go. So the yeast is basically risen. <laughs> Let me see if I can pour the yeast in here so we can just do like a really quick pour, all right? <laughs> we got some forbidden snacks here. So would you, would you guys mind a nice helping of um, blue Kool-Aid and uh, some lightly chocolate milk? <laughs> <laughs> it kind of looks good, I'm not going to lie. The little disclaimer about this, and this is a very highly exothermic reaction, because obviously it's going very fast, and it wants to go to the state, um, right? Because like hydrogen peroxide wants to go to water in O2. Um, so when you do this, don't touch it until it cools down, <laughs> all right? 
it's going to be very hot. You guys ready? Ta-da! <laughs> it, that's the, that's elephants. It's, it's not gonna, there's, it's, it's not as much as the, the sodium, but it exists, guys. <laughs> it's just all, yeah, it's literally like, it's, it's hot. It's very hot. <laughs> but yes, ta-da! We have, we have mixed blue Kool-Aid chocolate milk to create a banana smoothie. Isn't it amazing, guys? <laughs> all right, to end it all off, we'll do some more diet. We'll do one more Diet Coke, all right? So we'll do four. The whole pack? I don't know if I can do the whole pack. I don't know if I can, like, literally fit it in. Not with that attitude? All right, I'll try it. I'll try it. You know what? Let's do something special for this last one. Um, let me move the table, and we'll do it right here, all right? Ta-da! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> wow, look at that explosion! Boom! <laughs> Whoa, it keeps going! No way! What an end to the scuffed backyard stream. 